All right. All right, boys and girls. Do y'all know about the Energizer Bunny? Y'all know anything about the Ener- do y'all, shh. Do y'all know anything about the Energizer Bunny? What does the Energizer Bunny do? Gives you power. He has the little drum and it makes power. He has the little drum and what does he do? He keeps going and going and going and going, right? Yeah, he never stops. He never stops. He's like a battery. What about y'all? Are y'all that way? Yes. Yes? I am. Some of you are. Some of you aren't, right? You're not like the Energizer Bunny? Well, we're really not like the Energizer Bunny. What does it take for us to keep going? Energy. Well, where do we get that energy? Jesus, Jesus gives, it, gives us energy, yeah. But what do you have to have every day to... Well, this is another... Yep. Sugar rush. Sugar rush, yeah. That's what somebody said this morning. Water and food, that's right. Water and food and sugar. And what else? Drinks. How about rest? Do y'all still take naps? Oh. I'm not there's some thumbs down on that. <laughs> you parents, thumbs down on rest. Well, you know what? Miss Sally tells me, where'd I go to? Miss Sally tells me that I don't get enough rest. So I brought a pillow, but I'm not going to sleep right now. But we need to rest, don't we? We need to rest because we have to get our strength back after we eat and drink and have sugar and all that stuff. We're supposed to rest. And because when we don't rest, we get run down. I know we like to play and run around and and have fun and all that. But when we forget the time and we don't come in and rest, when mom and dad calls us in or our grandpa or grandma or aunts and uncles, and we don't, we've been out there too long, we get gripey and grumpy. And that's the way I am at times. And, and uh, you know, I know I'm getting older, but I still like to take a nap. And y'all don't take naps? Oh, gosh. Well, you know what? Jesus said that we should rest. He told his disciples that in Mark 6, in the 6th chapter of Mark, and in the 30th and 31st verses, one day Jesus and his apostles were out. And they'd been teaching and preaching. And we pick up in the 30th verse. It says, then the apostles gathered to Jesus and told him all the things, both what they had done and what they had taught. And he said to them, come aside by yourselves to a deserted place and rest for a while. For there were many coming and going, and they did not even have time to eat or rest. And Jesus said, we've got to rest. Even Jesus rested. You know, he needed his strength and we need our strength to do things, right? I know we can eat, we drink, and we have your sugar rushes, but we need rest too. I still like to take a nap, like I said a while ago. Sometimes I get to on Sunday afternoon, sometimes I don't. Sometimes even when I come home from school, I'll go to the recliner and I'll, I'll rest for about 15 minutes. And that, that's my energizer. That gives me, a, that's a little power nap, I call it. I'm not like the Energizer Bunny. God didn't make us like the Energizer Bunny. The Energizer Bunny doesn't have to rest, but we need our rest, just like Jesus said. And you know what, boys and girls? When we know Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we can rest in Him. We we rest in that assurance that we know where we're going when we die and that Jesus is our Lord and Savior. So the next time you get to take a nap, you think about, hey, Jesus told me I need to rest. Okay? Let's pray. Father in heaven, we do thank you for the time that we can sit down and rest from our chores and from our work, from our school and from playing. Father, we just know that that rest is the thing that keeps us going. And we can really rest assured when we know that you're our Lord and our Savior. Pray for these children and ask you to watch over and guide them. For it's in the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you.